Hello everybody, my name is Dizzy and welcome back to The Hunter Call of the Wild. We are heading, perhaps quite unusually for me in a way, uh, back to sunny Australia. Whoops, that is not what I wanted to show you. Oh, turns out I still had that up. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that. That's fine, there we are. <clears throat> you saw nothing, no one saw anything. Um, it's fine. Uh, yes, uh, there's a there's a new map out. I have played it already this week, and that was actually the last time I streamed because I've been I've been feeling a mix of of under the weather and tired and all sorts of things and just not up to streaming. Uh, but I'm back, and then I'll be gone again for a long weekend because I'm busy on Monday when I would normally stream. So. <laughs> uh, it was going to be a bit wonky and all over the place, but it's fine. It's totally fine because I'm here now. Uh, just waiting for the game to load up. I don't like having the game running for too long in the background because it does actually, I think, like progress time when you do that, which is a really stupid mechanic, by the way. Um. But yeah, we're, we're heading into the night of Australia now, uh, which we've not seen yet, particularly. But uh, you'll be seeing everything in green, because that's what colour the night vision binoculars are. Let's click on the old continue button. And this completely back screen is actually the map. <laughs> I promise. Uh, oh, okay, we have a quest for the stubble quail. Take a picture of one, and then harvest one. So these are our missions. We've got to go to one particular point and uh, shoot some things. There might also be a gun in it for me, I'm not sure. And then we have side quests to kill kangaroos in a variety of ways and to go find a stubble quail. Uh, but first, the very first thing we must always do is... Uh, have a look at this and then fix our kit. Oh, that's an interesting graphical thing there. Uh, so let's have a look at what we've got on us. We've got the 7 mil Regent, we've got these, we've got the Vasquez. I was actually going to take off the Vasquez because uh, I just didn't have the range that I needed for what I wanted to do. Uh, so that is coming off. Let's go into storage. Rid of the Vasquez. Can we fit the Ranger? Two, four, three. Yes, we can just about. Amazing. And we need to get rid of the 45 air rifle pellets and put on the 243 poly tips. There we go. Uh, and then we need to have a look and put you up on number five. Put some ammo in you. Uh, put on a sight. Uh, we've already got the night vision binoculars on there. And we're just going to go into this and uh, save this loadout as our new Australia general. Uh, yeah, I don't normally play like not Hirsch or Medved for too long. But, uh, oh, I need to check how much ammo I have as well. <laughs> Okay, I'm fine for everything except two for three bullies. Uh, but I, I thought, seeing as it's still kind of new and fresh, uh, I'd give it another go. And turn on the torch, that's always important. Now, I guess we sort of got to figure out where we're going. Um, now, I don't know where quail live. I haven't seen many kangaroos around this area of the map. Where it's getting sort of foresty, I say this area, it's more like this area. Where it's getting kind of foresty, I haven't seen many kangaroos around there. I assume that it's going to be kind of foresty all along this sort of wide river area, and then it might be sort of plains around the edge, but I don't know. It's a bit difficult to tell because the map's so dark, you can't see anything. Uh, last time we picked up this outpost, we went up the lookout point. I suppose there's no point in not having this mission up. It'll at least give us somewhere to sort of point to. 
I guess we're heading towards that Albert Tower. Yeah, and then I'm guessing there might be, if we get that far, this stream, there might be an outpost then on the other side of it over there. That's probably our best bet. Alright, so that's quite the trek though. That's a, a three, maybe four kilometre journey. So we best get going. Here's our goggles. Let's get them arranged in. And then we've got the big gun on number one. Uh, this takes out most of the things that we're after. On three, we have a handgun. This is the only thing we have apart from uh, the bow that can take on the smallest animals. But it's iron sights only because I have no carry space. So... We probably won't be hitting anything with that. Uh, we have our bow on four with the rangefinder bow sight. Now with a new keybind for rangefinding, which I hate, I despise. Uh, and then on five, we've just put on the ranger. Uh, this will be good for the foxes. And class three is like that hog deer. There's quite a few class threes in this map. I think the feral pigs and the hog deer. No, it's the Axis Deer and the Hog Deer and the Sheep are all, uh, I think, Class 3s. don't want to go too far in this direction because we are going downwind and it is the opposite direction to where we want to go. But uh, it won't hurt us to take a look. I think one of my cores does do Hog Deer. Oh, hello. Who's that? Like, you were there. Hog oh dear, there we go. Uh, what range are you at? About 150 meters, fine. Right. So that's potentially a good start if we've hit that properly. If we haven't hit it properly, then it's a terrible start. But at least we've got to... So try out the new gun that we've just added to our loadout. Uh, ba -boom. I think it has gone down. Let's go a little bit further. I wasn't sure like exactly where he was stood. That looks like a good long hit to me. I was a bit worried about bumping into the tree. Uh because I knew he was standing sort of close to a tree. And I also knew that. Once I was out of binocular vision, I wouldn't be able to see the tree. Uh, Alright, where's the blood? There's the blood. A vital organ hit. Lovely jubbly. Let's pick you up and then be on our way. It's nice, it's not often I get uh, an animal so soon in a stream. Oftentimes we're still actually mucking around with our inventory at this point in the stream. <laughs> Because often we have to fulfill like certain gun requirements for certain quests and stuff. I suspect the quail are going to be quite annoying. Because I don't think they're going to be shotgunnable on this map. Because this map is so open. That's one of the reasons why I changed out the Vasquez. Is you see animals from so far away. And they see you from quite far away. What was that? It's another hog deer. Should check this caller actually does do hog deer, should I? Yes it does, okay. <clears throat> uh, I've lost where we're going. Where's that deer body? There it is. I feel like I've actually just spent the last two minutes going the opposite direction from it, because I feel like it's further away now than it was before. That's fine, we don't need to worry about such things. I get very easily turned around in games. Boom says, annoyingly, I missed it. My bottom left wisdom tooth feels exactly the wrong moment to break through. Oh my gosh! Does that mean you are now spouting blood from your mouth. I hope not. 
As a rule, I'm not a fan of people I like spouting blood from anywhere. Right, let's see... Oh, we just... I was a bit worried that I might be too far off to the left, but we just about grazed his lung. Her lung. There we go, okay. Um, need to reset my waypoint. It's up here, but there we go. Alright, 2.60 kilometers. It's about a kilometer an hour we have to cover. One per real world hour. Uh, over the course of the stream. And it says surprisingly little blood. I guess it's just teething. <laughs> Good luck. I. My wisdoms are a bit wonky. I've got one that's come through but is at like a 45 degree angle. Or um, a couple that have come through fairly normally. And one that may or may not be squishing up all my teeth and have to be get taken out at some point. Uh, which isn't ideal. But it is what it is. It's because we've got better dental hygiene now than we ever used to, you know. Back in the day, Wisdoms had plenty of space because you'd have lost one or two by the time they came through. Nowadays, we're much better at holding on to our teeth, for better or for worse. Okay, deck. Um. And it says, this is tooth number two. You've also got one at a funky angle. What I found particularly odd is, like, I can look in a mirror and see that that tooth is at a funky angle, right? I mentioned it to my dentist the last time I saw her. She said, like, no, it's not at a weird angle. I'm like, I, I can literally see it. Not only can I feel it in my own mouth, but I can literally see that it's at a weird angle. <laughs> what do you mean it's not at a weird angle? My tooth cleaning ritual has been particularly odd lately as well, because I've been waking up at sort of 4am briefly a lot in the last week or two. And then my brain is just like, I wake up, I go to the bathroom, and my brain's like, oh, it's morning time, you're in the bathroom, it's time to brush your teeth. And so I find myself brushing my teeth at 4am. And then it's like, well... <laughs> gonna go back to sleep for four hours and then wake up and then the first thing I'm gonna do after I wake up is brush my teeth again. <laughs> uh, I am I am worried about them. Because with them being all squished up by the wisdom tooth, A, it's like thrown off all of the orthodontics that I had when I was younger, which is super annoying. More annoying, I think, for the people who <laughs> paid for them than it is for me. Um, but also, uh, it means that I'm super paranoid about the gap between them because it's not easily accessible by toothbrush and it's so tight it's not even, like, possible. And I have an, I have an electric and a manual toothbrush. And I actually, I despise using the electric one. It is... I, I had, I've had an electric one previously that was fine. Like, the head looked like a normal toothbrush. But this one is one of those, um, like... It's an Oral-B knockoff, which means it has a much bulkier head. And it's just really uncomfortable to put in your mouth. So unless I'm actively, like, consciously thinking about, no, you have to use the electric one, I tend to just default to using the manual one, because it feels nicer. Like, without even thinking about it. Um... 
Right, the usual caveat supply, because I am wandering in dense space and also new space, we are going to see a smaller number of animals. Oh, these are quail droppings though, interesting. Although that is the only dropping that that quail has left, that's the only track, the only trace that that quail was ever here. It says minty dizzy sounds like a good dizzy though. I don't know, I don't I don't enjoy the sensation of toothpaste in my mouth. What the the kids call a toothpaste hangover. I don't think the kids call it that. Um Yeah, so over where it gets mountainous again, it looks like it's not very foresty. It might well be foresty for between here and there, which is a lot of forest. I think also, actually, it being night, all the animals we've seen so far have been fairly active during the day. So night is probably when they are less active anyway, there's less going on in the map. Uh, anyone there? Nope. Ginger toothpaste is good for that. I can't I can't even conceive of how awful that must be. <laughs> that sounds nightmarish. I do not think I would willingly put that in my mouth. Ginger is fine for hair, but not it's not good for eating. Come on, there must be some animals here. How much of the map are we going to go through seeing nothing? Oh dear, excuse me for being snuffly as well, I'm all hay feverish, hang on. It says it's quite nice and all as cloying as the mint stuff. Yeah, but it tastes like ginger. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a big foe of, of ginger flavour. I was looking for a word that was an antonym of fan. And I settled upon the foe. Uh, oh, um. We've made it like 0.4 kilometers, and we haven't seen a single animal. Maybe 0.5 kilometers not seen a single animal since that first deer. I shouldn't have said anything about how like, oh, it's so unusual for us to see animal this early on in the stream, because I jinxed it, obviously. Uh... I was talking the other day as well about how Corthwad has a auto walk button and how it's just a, such a good feature. Like, more games should definitely have an auto walk feature. I've been playing a lot of Minecraft recently, as I think I mentioned. Minecraft definitely would benefit from an auto walk feature sometimes. And what I find especially weird is it has an auto jump feature, which is, is completely pointless and... and the only reason why it exists is so that you can turn it off. But it doesn't have an auto walk feature that would be super handy.
It gives my uh, it gives my hands a chance to just take a break from the keyboard for a bit when we have these long walks like this. There's tracks everywhere here. There have obviously been animals through this way. They're just not here now. Let's see who this was and how long ago they were here. I mean, the answer is going to be a long time ago. I know that already. But, oh, this is another sandbar. We haven't had a lot of luck with our sandbar that we tried to shoot so far. They've been uh, very resilient to the things we've shot at them with. Which, considering we're using quite a high-powered gun, this thing goes up to class 9. Is uh, I'm not I'm not terribly happy about its performance. It's no secret that the Magnum is not my favourite gun. Oh, hello. Oh, there was a sandbar here, and it's now. It made no noise at all. And now it's run away. Great. I don't think I'm likely to be able to call it back. But I thought I'd give it a try. Typically once an animal's already fleeing, like... It's, it's pretty gone. But I don't know... I don't know what level of, like... Fleeing? The fleeing noise is? I don't know if it's just, like, walking away can trigger the fleeing noise or if it's only when it, like, sets off the sprint. Um, there is nothing here. Okay, well, that was our first animal in 20 minutes. We didn't even see it. <laughs> I wonder what he was doing, because he hasn't left any rest tracks, so he wasn't here to nap. I guess he was just passing through. Getting stuck on those big old roots. Right, two kilometers left. Until we get to that uh, lookout point. <sighs> oh, sleepy, sorry. These games always, always, always make me sleepy. It's every stream. Every stream of this and every stream of the Angler, I'm always sleepy. I kind of want to stream more of the Angler. But at the same time, I'm well aware that the new map is kind of directionless and boring. And it doesn't have a lot of the easy features that the first map had. It's amazing how they've managed to go from one really good start to already like they've thrown out most of the good features from that map in, in just the second map. Uh, and like the the increased range of fish is nice, but I don't have any idea of where to catch the increased range of fish because they don't have individual per fish tutorials anymore. And um, Golden Ridge Reserve benefited, or not benefited, but it suffered rather from the fact that everywhere was kind of the same and pretty much all the fish species you could catch kind of everywhere. There was only like two or three that were location specific. But Norway I think might have the opposite problem because I don't know where to catch many of the new fish because the game hasn't told me. Yeah. 
you know, I think Call of the Wild could do with having, like, the Hunter Call of the Wild, sorry, could do with having slightly more information about, like, which bits of the map you find species in. But at the very least, you can, like, there's a record of where species go because you get the, uh, the need zones on your map permanently. Whereas the Angler, you don't even get that. Like, you just have no idea where you've caught a fish previously. If I didn't have my own personal map that I'd made of Golden Ridge Reserve, marking on where I'd caught the different fish, I'd have no clue. Ever. Um... Plus, I think also... I've mentioned before, like the fact that most species in the angler are fairly ubiquitous versus the fact that most species in the hunter are fairly ubiquitous in their particular maps, it feels different because in the hunter, every sort of 10 meters is like a new opportunity, a new challenge. Whereas the angler, the entire map already feels the same because it's you go to the edge of the water, you throw your rod in. So you get a lot more variation in the like emergent experience, if you will, from the hunter than you do from the angler, just with the same ubiquitous species. Uh, and, and for example, in this case, in the hunter, this area has nothing in it. And that's its own challenge in and of itself. Actually finding bloody anything in this entire forest. What the hell's that? I suppose that's moonlight? It's coming directly at me. I feel like I'm in the X-Files. Uh... Oh no, it's coming from behind me. I see. That's cool. That's really cool. Honestly. I know I take far too many screenshots in this game, or too many pictures in this game, really. I don't, I'm never going to use them all. But, uh, that. Oh, hello. Who's that? Oh, you know what I don't have on me? I don't have a bloody fallow deer caller. I mean, I don't have the space for one anyway. But, uh,. I hadn't even realised they were on this map, I don't think, when I was preparing. Even though I was consulting the wiki at the time, I didn't sort of twig. Oh hey, there's a fallow deer, I need the fallow deer caller. It breaks love, break its legs. <laughs> Hopefully, I will be breaking something slightly more damaging than its legs. Oh no, he smelt me because I'm super. I'm, I'm, he's downwind of me. That's no good. It's taking me ages to get up this hill. I don't want to go any faster because then he'll hear me too. Mm. Please hustle. Hustle, but hustle quietly. Uh, okay. Dear, 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 dear. No, that's him fleeing. Oh, I can't see it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, I think he was behind a rock. Or a tree. I don't know, I can't see a tree at the end of where I was. That's, uh... Just march straight forward. Huh. I'm not sure what blocked my shot then. Uh, but something did. Oh well, that's a shame. I thought I'd got him there at the end, after all of that. I was like, oh look, this is, he's stopped! He's Although he's fleeing, he's actually, like, stopped. 
I've got a perfectly lined up shot. He's well within range, but I guess not. Now, I've never seen, actually, nighttime hunting as difficult as in this forest region. Like on Siberia, nighttime hunting isn't that much worse than... The... What the hell was that? That's an Axis deer, is it? I've got a call up for you. Um, yeah, on the on Siberia, night hunting isn't that much worse than day hunting. On Leighton and Hirsch, it's more tricky for sure. But it's been pretty challenging so far here. Like we've seen basically nothing, but basically nothing. And managed to shoot even less. And like, cause the the under canopy is so dark already that even with the night vision, it's very difficult to tell anything. Come on, Xistia, where are you? Like, it's not quite as dense as some of the bits in Hirsch or Siberia, which is nice. Because then in those, it's often the case that sort of like you could be five feet away from an animal and never know it. Um, but it's it's the darkness here that is makes it tricky. It's gonna blow my little Axis emergency whistle. Hello. Uh, what class are you? You're a class three. Okay. We got you that time. Oh yeah. Down pretty quickly. I think he must have just done a little spin on the spot, basically. Oh, that's a very pretty patterning as well. That's probably that same fellow there again issuing a warning call. Yeah, he won't stick around after I've shot, so uh, we'll head further on. But I'm glad we finally got a second animal. <laughs> My goodness. I don't know how much I like this reserve being populated by so many class 3s. I feel like class 4 is, is where it's at. Class 4 is what I'm most comfortable with. Class 3s feel, feel very small by comparison, even though they're not that much smaller. Because your, your little deer like that guy, like the uh, roe deer on Hirsch, especially like the lynx on Siberia. Your <laughs> Bambi's mum. <laughs> I, Bambi just never affected me that much. Possibly because I never saw it as a child, I only saw it as like a teenager. Like, the real sad mum death in TV was Littlefoot's mum in Land Before Time. That was the real tearjerker. Bambi. Hello, who's that? The pigu. We've not seen the pigu in these maps yet. We've heard them, but we've not seen them. He is downwind of us, and pigs are famously very good at smell. So I'm not anticipating being able to get close enough to get a shot off. Never know. Okay. 
Okay, where are you at? Where are you at, piggers? You around? Somewhere? You were sounded quite far away. Given that they've changed the sounds again to add the fleeing noise, it's possible that was deceptive. Any piggies about? Piggy wiggies? Oink oink! I don't really know where you were from here. You were the sort of east ish. I don't think I'm gonna just dive blindly into the forest looking for you. Like I, I genuinely, I can't see where the ground ends. Beyond about 60 meters away, I just can't tell what I'm looking at. It's just a mess of stuff. And without the night vision, it's impossible to see anything. Gonna let the piggies live, I think. Based on the fact that I don't think we have much other choice. <laughs> Keep a lookout though, just in case. Cause like over there Oh hang on, I'm stuck on a rock. Let's not go down, let's go up. Uh, where was I? Over there, I can see fairly far. Like, I can see up to that 200 meter range. It's just that direction, completely impenetrable. I'm sort of up. Hello? Okay. That's a better bead on the direction they're in. They are in the impenetrable direction. Because I guess, of course, they are. I don't think we're going to have any luck if we try and go over there. I can't even see what the terrain's like, but I think it's quite steep. So they are possibly over another ridge from here, given I can't see them. I think we're going to leave them be. The jungle area, not my favourite. I know I said earlier on that this might, this had a, a strong chance of being my favourite map. This jungle area, not my favourite. Not enjoying it that much. If there were animals in it more, then I would enjoy it more. And obviously, like this is a first pass, and so it's the this is when it's the most depopulated of all. Which is still a problem with the game. It could really do with sort of fixing. We're gonna have to go up that slope, aren't we? It's going to be utterly nightmarish. Alright, 1.6 kilometers left.
You know, I can't even figure out where that slope is. Oh, that's here, I guess. That's these contours. So we've got down and then back up. I always forget because the map, the height map is like weirdly inverted. Uh, for, not the height map, but the underlying sort of thing. So we're in these dark areas where we're in shadow. You'd expect to be going uphill from like here to here. But you're actually going downhill. And then these bits, you'd expect this to be like a ridge that divides the height, that divides the slope down on this side and the slope down on that side. But actually, it's a valley. That's the bottom of the valley. It's just very odd. I don't quite understand why they did it that way. I don't even know what it's called, like height shading or or, or peak shadows or something on a map, I have no idea. But I hope you understand what I mean. I've also just realized I haven't had anything to eat today. I meant to eat before the stream and I haven't. That's no good, Dizzy. That's no good at all. We can't do three hours of this on an empty stomach. Mm. Equally, can't munch too much while I'm on stream. Because you don't want to hear that, so I have to mute every time. Also not sure what I have that's munchable that's actually in range. I'm gonna leave it on auto walk for a sec. Oh I've got cereal on the other side of my room, hang on. Look, it's literally just at the end of my headphone range. Ugh. Right, okay, I've now acquired bunchies. Oh blimey, what's the black is doing? Uh I suppose anyone decided to take the uh, opportunity to sneak up on me, did they? Would have been very nice of you. No. No one at all. Okay, fine. I mean, that's probably a reason why rainforests aren't known for their game hunting. When you think about it. <laughs> Excuse me, sleep. Nap time. Hey up, there's a foxy around. Sorry, I've got a mouthful of food. Where's the fox? Where is the fox? Well, wherever he fled to, he Fled blooming quickly. I have no idea where he's gone. Oh, that's so annoying. I looked at this area quite extensively on my way down. Oh, hello. There you are. You're behind a tree right now. Actually, you're behind quite a few trees. And a rock. Okay. 
that might be a good spot if you go and pause there again. Oh, this is going to be very difficult. Nope, okay. There's a lot of trees between me and him. I don't think I got him. I think I hit a branch of something. I'm not really sure. No, wherever he is, I don't think I hit him. Ah, This is rough! This is a tough place! I didn't think Call of the Wild really had, the, had it in them to make a hard map. I didn't think that was sort of a thing the systems really allowed for. An empty map? Sure. But a hard map? I wasn't expecting, but this really is it. Hmm. Oh well, we'll pick up the... I was going to say we'll pick up the needs on our map. I think it already is on our map. So if necessary, we can come back. Let's have a look over that way while it's fairly empty. Uh, I meant like sparse, sparsely vegetated. Because hmm. like um some of the other maps they're tricky at night when it's misty because the mist obscures your night vision. But in this you're just kind of firing into the dark. I, maybe if I had the night vision scope it would have been easier I guess. But I, I don't have the wink capacity for that. I, I think Call of the Wild's weight limit is probably too low. I understand that it's still way more than you'd actually carry around with you as a real life hunter, so I understand that they're trying to strike a, a compromise. But I just never feel like I can have the, the loadouts that I want. Because like I, for, for what I've got on me today, I'd like to have a night vision scope, and I'd like to replace the Virant with, uh, sorry, the Anderson with a Virant or a shotgun, and then have a sight for the shotgun as well potentially. Like that's a good sort of, let's say four. In, oh, and I'd like to have a fallow deer caller as well. That's a good four inventory capacity, more than I I have. And the only way to get that is by sticking on a massive backpack, which then means you can't actually hunt any animals because they hear you and see you from much further away. Uh, there are perks, but they're... the other thing that they've done that I don't like in this game is that you, you don't end up having enough perk points to unlock all the perks. You cap out at level 60, which is where I'm at, with not quite enough. So I've, I've got... Okay, I don't know how many perks I've got total, but I've got some number of perks, but I haven't got all of them. And I haven't got all of the skills either. And that's just a really obnoxious decision. 
So the game devs didn't have to make. But they did anyway. Like I've 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 gone the way I have with skills because there's like one particular skill that I'm really I really want. I want the extra tracks. And actually I also really wanted the decreased visibility and decreased sound. Oh, where's the decreased sound there? Like these are you can't play the game well without these two things. Uh because you can't actually shoot anything very much. They they see you too easily. No 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 I need you to look at me. Oh that was a beautiful shot, unlike what I've done so far. Um but yeah so like like those things are a must haves and they're completely incompatible with uh, where is it? With this one, you can't like. There's just not enough things in the game to get both, and that's really annoying. I don't like it. Hello, hi there, little Axis dear. Ah, oh, heart double lung, perfect. I only grazed the heart, admittedly, but still. Exactly what we want. And we are over halfway to our little outpost destination with two hours to go, so I guess we should make it there, given that there's not been any animals to distract us almost at all. Vim says there's a Vimto energy drink now. Oh, I don't mind a spot of Vimto. I don't know about energy drink though. Like the pretty much the only energy drinks I like are Lucas Aid Sport and Powerade. That's kind of it. I I don't like Monster. I don't like Red Bull. I don't like a lot of the the knockoff monsters either that there are. Uh, but I do like Vimto, so maybe a Vimto energy drink might be a good thing. Actually, is Mountain Dew an energy drink? Or is it just like a, a soda? I'm not really sure. I've only had it like once or twice, but it was kind of nice. I know the, the Americans go crazy for it. But I don't know anything really about Mountain Dew. What do you say is an energy drink? Okay, there's three energy drinks that I like. I'm gonna go mute for a bit again and have some more food. That's the other thing that um, auto walk is good for, having snacks while you're playing, and having drinks as well actually. Dead handy for both. There, 
this. It's a really cool tree. Oh, I can like, I can deform it as I walk up to it. That's weird. It, like it, I, I'm pushing it off of the, the trunk, which is not. That behavior is not quite ideal. Uh, but it's a cool looking model in general. I'd like to grow that species of tree if I had the ability to do so. Unfortunately, I'm not. I would like to be very green thumbed. I try and grow lots of plants. I do not succeed in growing many plants. Okay, right. Breakfast is, I guess, finished for today. Such as it was. Yeah, it's one minute past one, according to my clock. We have under a kilometer to go. We should make it, and then on to the next outpost, I think, with no problems whatsoever. If we make that inside two hours, I might end the stream for two hours, because I'm still not feeling super hot. <laughs> well, actually, I am feeling pretty warm, but uh, I'm not feeling super great and wonderful. I can, I can feel the tiredness setting in already. So depending on how things go, this could end up being a shorter stream, but at least I've been here and streamed. Um. Oh, boom, boom, shucks, you flattering you, but also no you. <laughs> ah. Time is it in game? It's not yet midnight, so we've got plenty of darkness hours left ahead of us. Real life Australia, of course, is in darkness right now. So I suppose that makes sense. Right, over the crest of this hill should be a whole new area that we can see. Maybe it'll be full of wonderful critters, who knows. I also feel like this out lookout that we're going to isn't much higher than us. It's not like, looking at these contours, this is the high point. This is where I'd expect it to be. And the road almost goes there, and then it just takes a left turn and goes up here instead. Not sure why that is. That's where we've come from. God, we have actually trekked across huge, huge quantities of forest, haven't we? Both today and uh, last stream.
Okay, not far now, not far now. I find it interesting, the rain. You can't really hear it. Like, I'm used to the rain sounding quite loud and peaceful. Very relaxing. But even though it's raining right now, in the, in the game I mean, even though it's raining right now, I can't hear anything of the rain. Oh, okay, now the rain noise has started after I said that. <laughs> but normally, like, I'm mistaking it for footsteps. I'm sort of hearing the rain start with a few drops, and I'm like, wait, do I hear steps? And it turns out to just be water falling from the sky. I don't know if that's a change or if that's... Like, I don't know if that's a change to the whole game or if that's just this map that the rain sounds quite muted on. Or maybe even just this area of this map. If I stop, you can hear it. I do love that noise. We are desperately overdue for some rain where I live IRL. Uh, and pretty much the entire rest of the UK, as far as I can tell, has had rain at some point in the last week or so. And we've had clouds, threatening clouds, uh, but not even the barest hint of, of any water. And it's just... It's maddening, partly because I love thunderstorms, and I quite enjoy the rain when it's warm. But also because it would mean I have to water the plants for a day or two as well. Uh, maybe as a sort of a sneaky side benefit. And it says, we do some probably Sunday IRC. I mean, we would do some last Sunday, and we got about 10 seconds of it. I'm just worried we're just going to have an enormously dry summer like we did last year all over again. It was horrible last year as well. Uh, and then we had the hosepipe ban. And let me tell you, keeping a garden full of ambitious plants and vegetable beds and stuff watered while you have a hosepipe ban on, and you can only do it in cans, is absolutely the worst. It is far, far more effort than it's really worth. I think what I need is... Oh, we have a first time channel. I'll, I'll come back to that thought. Uh, strange one. Welcome. Hi there. How's it going? I hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, we are just wandering through Australia at night. It is currently very empty, uh, so hopefully there will be some exciting moments soon. But maybe don't hold your breath. Um, so don't we have a housework band basically every year? Where I live, we hadn't had one for a few years. Jim says, is this game good? Uh, not only is this game very good, I would thoroughly recommend it, even despite all the things wrong with it, that if you stick around I'm sure you'll hear me complain about as and when they crop up. Uh, but yeah, not only is the game very good, uh, it's currently free on Epic Games Store. Uh, this map that I'm on currently is a DLC map that is not free, in fact I don't even know if that one is available on the Epic Games Store. Uh, but yeah, the game with the two, I think, base maps it comes with is extremely good. One of the two base maps is the Lake and Lake District. I have 200 and something hours just in that map. Uh, I know this because it was the only map I'd ever played, and I had like 200 hours in the game in my scene library. So, yes, I think this game is good. Uh, if nothing else, when it's daytime, obviously less so at night, but when it's daytime, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and thank you so much for the follow as well. It's lovely to have you along for the ride. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's have a look, see, as we get into a new space. Now, is that the forest getting sparser over there? Or is that just that the models look funky in the night? I can't tell. Uh, 
I'm hoping it's the forest getting sparser. As it is, we've got this whole area of hillside that we can see from here. It's within render distance, so there would be animals on it if there were any there. Or rather, if there were any animals on it, we would see them. But absolutely no one. Hello? Is that just a rock? I think it's just a rock. I was wondering if that might be like a small animal, like a quail or a rabbit or something, but I think it's just a rock. Uh, oh, we have some dramatic lighting going on. Where is that dramatic lighting coming from, actually? I can't tell, because there's no moon. There's no moon for the moonbeams to be coming from, but it's fine. Uh, also, my god, we are on the side of the steepest hill known to man. I'm astonished we haven't slid off of it and broken all of our bones. Come on, there's so much open space down there. There's got to be something living there. Some little deer, maybe a pig. Anyone? <laughs> I'm going mad! I'm alone in the forest at night! It's taking its toll. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Anyone? At all? No? Okay, fine. Well, I'm not going to see anyone off to the left of us, because it's just here and then. There could be there could be all of the animals in the entire map lined up, nose to tail, just above that rise, and we would never see them. Which is a shame, because that would be a really funny sight. Oh, excuse me. Still very sleepy. Apologies. If you're gonna line them up nose to tail, I'm just wondering, would you want them... Because most animals' heads are at about the same height as their tail. So would you want them with the biggest one at the front? Or with the biggest one at the back? Because I think, although in my head I'm conceiving of it with the biggest one at the front, I think actually you'd want the biggest one at the back. But I think they have stuff like the uh, the large the uh, the wild beast. I reckon they probably have a much greater range of movement of their head to touch the the tail of the smaller species in front of them than they do of their tail to touch the nose of the species behind them. So I think I think you want to have the tall animals bending down or craning down rather than the little guys craning up. Unfortunately, the only person who could have successfully tested this is Noah, and he wasn't real, and even if he was real, he'd be dead. Uh, how far? Okay, Four, 350 to 400 meters is really not far at all. You're going to be practically tripping over that lookout point soon. You're going to look out for the lookout point and see, probably, more diddly squat. If I'm honest with you. What's this tower called that we're heading towards? This is Albert Tower. Okay, I wonder if it's named for Prince Albert? Or... Just someone's dad who was called Albert. Who knows? Oh, what's that? I think that's just a bit tree. That's just a bit tree.
Come to Australia, they said. It's full of deer, they said. I haven't been keeping track of exactly how many animals I've shot today. Actually, I've just remembered there is somewhere Hunt Club Beta. Harvest Wildlife in Africa. Harvest foxes, coyotes, sourdough jackals, rabbits, or hares. I'll pass the check. Okay. Harvest Wildlife with uncommon or rare fur colour. Okay. Well. I'm guessing as there are hunters here, I don't know how to... I have selected it. I don't know how to activate it. Or is it activated automatically? It might be active automatically, I'm not sure. Uh, Boom says, for we'll be hunting Jeremy Clarkson. No, that is not currently the plan. Although that would be an amusing DLC if they resurrect the Clarkson Islands joke from, what was it, 2007 or something? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't really know what's up with Jeremy Clarkson actually at the moment. I haven't seen him in the news for a while. I know that he had a an article on trans rights that was, like, unusually pro-trans. Uh, and everyone kind of compared it to that Mitchell and Webber We the Baddies sketch. Uh, but I, I haven't watched any, like, um, Grand Tour or anything. Haven't seen him anything else. <laughs> Nick's getting thug in Hitman. <laughs> He's mostly busy with his farm these days. Oh, right! That's true! That He got a new se season of his farm, didn't he? And I think, didn't he punch someone again a couple years ago and he got, like, extra cancelled? Like, he got cancelled even by Amazon, who took him on after he punched someone. I don't know, I don't stay up with the latest parts and news. I do enjoy Top Gear and Grand Tour. In spite of, or perhaps at least a little bit because of, Clarkson's Clarkson, this, I must admit. Right, now where are we in? You're over there somewhere. I think you might have been too far away to hear my caller. Where do we think you are? Oh, I'm stuck against a rock. It's not going to be helping. Uh... Can we get on top of the rock, please? Thank you. Okay. Oh, I've completely lost track of where that fox was, though, relative to me. It could be sort of anywhere over in that vague direction. And given that he's a tiny little fox, far away and in the dark, I don't think we're going to get it. How close are we to the lookout point? Just that he was sad about his pigs. Oh, I don't think I saw him with pigs. Is that a quail? That is a quail. What the hell are you doing having a mating call at 25 minutes past midnight? You should be in bed! You can't dawn chorus for another four hours! Uh, we're gonna go after this quail. We are not going to find the quail. And even if we do find the quail, we are not going to hit the quail with a, with a bullet. But we're going to try anyway. Because um, I've not seen a quail yet on this map, or, or actually in this game, or possibly in life, actually. I'm not sure I've ever seen a live quail. I can't remember a time when I would have seen a live quail, and even if I had, it wouldn't have been a whatever the hell quail this is. What kind of quail are you? Codex. Hunter... No? Emerald Coast... Wildlife... Okay... Oh Christ, I have no idea what kind of quail it is. I've accidentally just tabbed out the game when I didn't need to. 
Um, he makes a pixel sorter. When he did, it turned out he got attached to a saddle after. Oh, I remember he had that with some sheep. He had a flock of sheep, and he he took them to the abattoir because some of them were like lame or something and and couldn't lamb. I'm not getting up this hill. Okay, I guess that quail is going to live through the sheer physics of how slopes work in this game. I'm just going to slide all the way down here, possibly to my death, certainly to my misery. Uh, yeah, and he, he, he sort of had a look around the abattoir, and he's, he that was one of the two or three episodes I ever saw of Clarkson's farm. He came back for them, and he was like, I want to have one last say goodbye. And the guy who worked there was like, I'm pretty sure they're already gone. And they were indeed already gone. This is a nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare. This slope that I'm on. And I don't think it's going to be getting any better. Look, there's a rest zone up there. I can see it. That's where the quails sleep. But I'm not going to be able to get to it for another 20 minutes while I go all the way around this bloody slope. I'm not best pleased. I'm not best pleased at all. I don't even think I can actually run and jump this. This is very steep. It's a shame because so far, actually, this map has had no, like, annoying slopes that you try to climb and can't. I've actually been really enjoying that fact, even as I was going up and down the up and downy bits, that everywhere was nice and neatly traversable. I had to go and spoil it with this. If I just want to get up, I have to go all the way around. It's bloody mountain. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a fox. That fox that we heard earlier has now detected us and we run away. And once again, it's completely invisible. Seriously, do you see a fox in this picture? A fast moving fox, no less? I sure as hell don't. What is long gone by now? It's fine hunt that he was. I've just realised I I met my follower goal of a hundred, like one or two streams ago, didn't I? I should probably set up like a new goal. That's a thing a professional streamer would do. Is have a goal. It should probably also, I guess, be a sub goal, but uh, that kind of terrifies me. Just having a big notice on the screen saying, please give me money. Don't know about that. Don't know about that at all. Uh, sometimes I say things and I'm like, I'm not super sure if I'm cut out for this line of work. Yeah, we know. We know you're up there. I know you're up there. I, I tried to come and get you. I was completely incapable of doing so, I'm sorry. Little bird, you're just going to have to wait while I go all the way around this hill. Do it. Uh, well, I, I will do it once I've reached the lookout point, I think. Because I do want to try and get to the, the quail before they leave. I don't think I'm going to succeed, but I'd like to try. And uh, I also know that having Twitch open will really joke the stream, because Twitch... Sorry, not having Twitch open. Having Firefox open will really choke the stream. I don't think... Oh, there's a... Look, there's a feed zone down here for someone. Ask for a gazillion subs. <laughs> I think I might ask for five. I, I think I have three at the moment. So five seems like a more sensible target. I think I have a you, a love angel, and a gifted sub to Fion. I don't believe I have... Oh, hello. There we go. What are you? You're a sambar. Okay. 
Oh my god, we finally got a good shot on the Samba, my goodness. There was a second Samba as well. Can I see you at all? No, I don't think we can. Oh, thank the Lord God Almighty. Didn't hurry sub. Oh, yes, okay, maybe super hurry sub. Maybe I have four subs. Oh, hi. Hashtag polyamory problems when you lose track of how many subs you have. Uh, uh, -huh. Well, I've probably spooked off those quails I was going for now. Uh, oh, Love Angel is here. Hi there, Love Angel. How's it going? How dare it sayeth my name? Eth. I didn't say your name. I didn't say hate demon. Uh, which for some reason is what you get called by in this chat now. There we go. I'm not sure we actually seen a male sandbar yet. Uh, you're a gold as well. I'm not upset. Oh, I assumed I'd hit you in the heart because you dropped on the spot. Apparently, I missed the heart and you're just significantly less bulletproof than every other sandbar I've ever seen. Nice. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. That's a call. I think this quail's going to be gone by the time I get there. Blast. Damn and blast and dash it all. Did I even get that feed zone? Yes, I did get that feed zone. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Boom Boom. Um, yes, for, for, for Strange One or anyone else who might be in the chat, uh, that's one of the perks of, of being added to my regulars list, is you get to add quotes when I say dumb stuff. Which happens quite often. Oh, it, you can tell it's been a rubbish day, because like, this is where I started, and you can see all four of the kills that I've had in the last hour and a half. <laughs> oh, who is that? Where are you? It's another sandbar. Okay. You are unofficial scribe, aren't you? Okay. I mean, no, you are. You are definitely the unofficial scribe. Uh... Might be just over this ridge, if we're lucky. So there's plenty of tracks here. Hold on, where are you? I'm really not sure why this bird call uh, attracts Samba. I think also a neat mechanic I'd like to see is if the mouth callers. Hello? Two lady Sambas. No, I need you over here, please. I need to be looking this way. And to not be behind a tree. Oh, you swine. And to not step forward right as I take the shot. You swine. Well, it was an organ hit. Just not the right organ. Oh, okay, you had a male, though. Keep an eye on you in case you decide to stop. Like that. Can we get you back? Oh, really, even just to turn around would be good. There's the lady. There's the male. There's the male. Ah, oh, come on. I might be able to do something at that angle. 
Okay, well, we got a hit. Yes, we got a kill. Amazing. Pick up this trophy. Yeah. you were, That was nearly a really good shot. And it turned into a terrible shot because you moved. Uh, we've also got a point of interest here that we might pick up. I have actually not picked up, I think, any at all on my map. Yeah, I've literally only ever picked up outposts and lookout points so far. So that's a weird little first for people keeping track of my, my firsts. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Last scene over here somewhere. We're looking for some blood. Hopefully quite a lot of it. Is that blood? That is blood. It's not very much blood. It's a non-vital organ here. Curses and crush it. Oh well, that's fine. It went down. I hope it wasn't unusually big. That's that hog deer that sounds exactly like a roe deer again. Luckily they're all massive Star Wars nerds, so they're attracted to the sounds of blast of fire. Um, where do I think that hog deer was? It's very difficult to see through all these shafts of moonlight. I think that hog deer is probably going to get away scot free, even if he hasn't fled already. Or maybe I just heard him. Possibly. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just another little deer. You have nothing to worry about. He's, he's over this little bump in the terrain. Which is unfortunate because it means he can hear me. But I can't see him. There might be a couple of them, actually. I think I had another set of footsteps off to my left somewhere. There we go, there's a lady hog deer. Let's have one last glance around. Oh, you... you... bled, okay. Ah, oh, no, don't turn your back on me! I can't shoot you from the back. Yeah, stay there, stay there. Got him. Amazing. Right, is this? I think this is the the wounded sandbar that we shot. Oh, okay, amazing. We're back in business, gang. We're back in business. I might even be cheeky. See if I can blow and attract that one who just won and caught. Get an arrow back. We don't get to do that very often. Boop. Okay, it was a bit of a scuffed shot. I was trying to lead the shot. I didn't lead the shot quite enough, but we still managed to graze a lung. And we got the liver as well. I still don't really like the new shot readout very much. I don't think it's as good as the old one. I have no idea what it's going to look like if we end up hitting something with two shots. Um, but it's it's not the worst UI change anyone's ever made to a video game. Hello. Nice. I'm really pleased with how that went. I know it was only a little moment, but that's that was just like the perfect efficiency that I could have hoped for. It's 
straight through the heart. Apparently I also counted as hitting the lungs. Gorgeous. I actually didn't check to see if they were... No, they were no unusual kind of colours. Okay, I'm going to pick up this male sandbar here. And then... I'll tag this. Pick them up and then we'll pick up the lookout point. I'm going to go a bit faster now. I don't think there's anyone else left to, uh, left to spook in the nearby vicinity. Oh, and we got some bow kills! I think that's also my first bow kills in Australia, because as mentioned, it's a, a pretty long distance map a lot of the time. Oop. Go around you, have a nice look. Right, where do we hit you? Ah. Uh, yeah, we hit you just a little bit far back. I think he might have just started his walk cycle looking at how he's posed when we fired. Which is a shame, but it wasn't anything important that we messed up. Ah, oh, oh yeah. Cooking with gas. I don't actually know if we cook them, the ones that we kill. We get money for them. So, so probably someone somewhere is cooking them. Did I just hear a duck? I'm checking this guy because duck might actually mean goose. I can't see any geese. Hmm. Maybe it's just a background noise. Alright, I'm one drink down, and I've now swapped the chocolate milk for apple juice uh, for drink number two. I'm trying to remember to stay hydrated during these streams, especially during the warm weather. If it is also warm where you are, for example because you're living literally anywhere in the UK or coastal Europe, uh, then do also please remember to have a drink, stay well hydrated, all the usual stuff. Take care of yourselves. You're important. I thought those were deer over there. They're just little shrubs. I was about to get very excited. But no, no excitement for Dizzy today. I don't feel like this is a good area for a hunting stand, so I'm not sure what this is going to be. This might be an info point. It's very off the beaten path. Well, it's not that far off the beaten path, actually, but it's a bit off the beaten path. For an info point in this. Well, I don't actually know where they put the info points in this map. Some of them, like Leighton, they just have info points near kind of like pathetic little paths. Some of them, like Hirsch, they always try and have them on roads. And then Siberia, they're just wherever. They're just in the middle of the snow. Oh, there is a feed zone there, which is not the one we've already got. Okay, this is a hunting stand. They think that this is actually a good place to hunt animals. I mean, I suppose it is an open space. It's not a particularly large open space, but it is an open space. Uh. Who am I to question their judgement? Who's that? It's a red deer. I did remember to bring my red deer caller. Even though I didn't remember my fellow deer caller. Oh my god, this is a huge feed zone. Blimey. Who's been near them? Uh, two, just two sandbar have been here and have caused all of these feed spots. My goodness. They must have been absolutely starving. I can't remember where that red deer was. I think he was somewhere over in that direction, but that, that direction is like a full 90 degrees of my viewing field. Oh, game froze then. Just for a sec. Not a fan. 
Oh, yeah, well, uh, we'll keep looking behind us in case that deer decides to respond to my little call. Maybe we won't keep looking in this direction if it freezes the game up every time, blimey. The sandbar is... I feel like it's a name that's slightly wasted on what the sandbar are. I feel like they could have been a much more interesting animal. And it could have been something like an antelope or a gazelle instead of just like another deer. Oh, I tell you actually something else that I've just realised I haven't seen so far on this map that's a really good sign. I've ne I haven't seen any of the invisible trees. The, the all the ghost trees, the phantom trees that we get on Hirsch and Siberia. They have so far been absent. That's a really good sign. It's just that there's actually paid even the slightest bit of care towards this thing when they were making it. Hello, who's that? That's a hog deer warning call. That is a hog deer at the end of said warning call. I did. That one paused for a little bit longer than I expected. And I shouldn't by rights have got that kill shot so nicely. But I guess the gods of hunting decided to bless us today. Zero that, there we go. Oh, hello, someone else is over here. Oh, there's a red deer fleeing. Oh, look, there you are. Okay, I'll see if I can follow you with my binox. See if you stop at any point where I can see you. <laughs> no, you're behind the tree. Actually, you're behind all of the trees. Oh, there is a little rest zone over here, though. Um, I might blow this as well, just in case. You might have friends nearby who aren't fleeing, you might be foolish enough to come back. I'm assuming this is your rest zone. Just gonna re waypoint that hog deer just in case I forget why I'm wandering off in this direction because I do have the occasional tendency to do that. But more what I do is I lose track of how many animals I've killed, so I don't know if I need to go back and look for more bodies or not. Uh, luckily, I don't think I've done that on streams yet, but it happens a lot when I'm playing this in my own time. Oh no! This is a quail sleepy zone. Oh, this is the quail sleepy zone! No, this isn't the quail sleepy zone that I saw before, because that was down there. Uh, when, when, when are you sleepy? You're sleepy until midnight, okay. You finished sleeping. Uh, oh, I've got a new mission. Harvest gold or better for every species. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> There's a lot of species here. Some of them I haven't even seen. Like, I've never seen the quail or the goose. I haven't seen a pig yet, although I have heard them. I've never seen hide nor hair of a rooster or a banteng. Oh. It's an impressive species list. And it, it still manages to not have quite all of the things I wanted, because I wanted there to be camels. Because uh, Australia, for those of you who don't know, they have a serious problem with invasive camels that people brought across because they were like, oh, it's hot, camels will love it there. And well, they did. <laughs> they loved it a lot. Okay, 
Hello, dear. Oh, I can pick up an arrow again. Boop. There we go. A fine long shot. And it says time for another war against the animal species. Well, they have... I mean, they, they do cull camels on the regular. I don't know if you can consider that a war or not. I don't really necessarily want to go into the politics of culls and trying to compare that to real world or to, to human stuff, because uh, that gets pretty sketchy territory pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I mean, Australia struggles with loads of invasives, as do lots of colonies, but Australia suffers worse because it had this wonderful, beautiful, endemic flora and fauna first that we then massively messed up. Bina says, I'm talking go full on Emu War though. The Emu is one. I mean, here's the thing. By the metric that we judge any other war by, the Emus did not win. You know, like, lots of Emus died. I don't believe any Australians died in the Emu War, although to be fair I haven't checked. Like, it was only a failure because they didn't actually fully exterminate the emus. And if that's the metric that you're judging wars by, I don't think it, pretty much anyone has ever won a war in the last 200 to 500 years. Uh, maybe longer. Although it is funny. It is amusing to... To, to think of the Australians losing a war against the Emus. And it was a disaster. It was a total, uh, I believe the polite way to say it is, cock up for the Australian military. <laughs> yeah, the Australians gave up. Exactly. <laughs> oh, there's some interesting rocks over there. Is that where I'm going for my mission? I don't know, because I've turned off the tracking. I don't know that I like the these sort of mega side quests. The ones that are like, just here's like eight different objectives, do them all. I'm not sure I like that. I, I you know, I had my trials and tribulations trying to do the side quest chains that we had before. But I liked that it was like one thing at a time. You could kind of do it was a nice self-contained little, uh, little packet of of gameplay. Like you could you could go for a, a mission, a side quest mission, when it was like that, and you can go for something like the quail one. That's you. You're a sandbar. Okay, you're down the hill. We've been down there. Um, but these ones that are more like a checklist, it just feels like I'll sort of do them as I go. Like, I'm not going to try for them, because I don't want to try and spend, like, three whole streams hunting kangaroos just for one mission, you know? Alright, here's our little look-up post. This is more in the sort of Hirschfelden style of let's just bolt a pair of binoculars on the side of the hill look-out point. Uh, we can get our waypoint as well. I'm assuming we're going to be dropping it over there. In fact, I'm so confident that that's where there's going to be another outpost. I'm going to put a pin in it now so you can all hold me to account when I discover if there actually is one there. Alright, survey. Oh look, there's a map. I could use this to see if there actually is one there. I think we're at that one. And yeah, there's a cluster of houses there. That might actually not be an outpost. I'm not sure. I can definitely hear ducks as well. Uh, anyway. It looks like black, because it's night time. It's just a revolving shot of this one set of trees. <laughs> okay, sure, cool. Oh no, it is an outpost. Amazing. Wonderful. And there's these little 
dotted lines off here. These are small side paths, but they're very small side paths. I don't know what they're for. Interesting. Pew pew. Uh, I guess we can afford to go off the hillside in the direction of that sandbar. Just in case it's still there when we get there. Uh, but we are more heading in the direction of that outpost. Hopefully we'll get to that outpost by the end of the stream. Oh, and we have, as well in the chat, a little uh, XL Slit, aka Yi. Hi there, long time no see. I am down in Australia. Playing some Hunter. Oh, hello. What the hell was that noise? Oh, there you are. No, I need to spot you. Lost. I need you to come back, please. Don't, oh shoot! I don't know if I can uh, shoot you through that tree. Guess I don't need to because you stopped anyway after I fell down that hill. <laughs> what am I doing in your area? I'm uh, killing deer in in your area is what I'm doing. I guess the jungle is where the sandbar live. Or oh, well, we're not in the proper jungle anymore. The jungle is more where the hog, hog deer live and the axis deer. But this. Sort of outskirts, forest edge. This, is, I guess, is where the sandbar live. We've actually killed quite a few animals nearby. Luckily, most of them in bow kill, so we're not blobbing up too much hunting pressure. Oh, yeah. Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. Uh, he says, I live 50 minutes away from the Emerald Coast. Oh wow, that's pretty close, especially by Australian standards. We are practically in your back garden. I'm impressed. Oh, a rare sight, tier 2. Ah, I didn't even realise that. I, I ticked some of those off. An uncommon or rare fur colour. Wait, what was your fur colour then? No, Codex Hunting Log. Okay, apparently Dusky Gradient is a rare fur colour. Or at least it's an uncommon fur colour. Uh huh. So it's not as rare as like leucistic or melanistic or what have you. That was definitely a roe deer cry. That was absolutely 100% a roe deer cry. You did not try at all. I'm not going back the way though, he's like directly behind us. Uh, he says, I opened up a game, I swear on god, first pack I see had a level 9 kangaroo! Oh, sad, big sad that you missed that. Although I'm not surprised at all uh, that you see things like that. You seem to get the craziest stuff in your game. I have a much more sort of sensible, moderate selection of animals in mine. Strangest time for your power to go out. Yeah! But I mean, is there, there's never a time when you want the power to go out. Oh, actually, that's another good point, actually. I just remembered when we were talking about the emu war, like, ten minutes ago. Why aren't there emus in this in this level? I mean, I know why. It's because they're too lazy to make a new model for a new animal. But, like, cows and emus have been super obvious additions to the level. And they just didn't. He says, didn't even know what was max level. You clipped yourself seeing it though. <laughs> no, I have not seen any diamond animals here yet. And I wouldn't have expected to, given I've only been playing for, what, five hours? Total. Uh. He says, I know, but like, if you really think there's not many animals down here, TBH. I don't know exactly where 
the animals and the, especially the invasive pests and the iconic invasive pests that we think of when we think of Australia. I don't exactly know where they are in Australia, but given that you had the entire country, you could put your map anywhere in it. You know, like, what did we want from a, a, an Australia map? Well, we wanted the crocodiles and the kangaroos, and we got those. So I suppose in some ways, like, that was just an obvious win. What I didn't want, what no one really wanted, was all of the deer species that you've seen elsewhere, but also now here. Like, it's fine having red deer and fallow deer and axis deer and what have you, but they were already in the game. They didn't need to be on this map. You know? You really wanted snakes? Do people hunt snakes, particularly? I don't know. It's a, it's a question. I don't feel like many people shoot snakes, though. That would have been really interesting, though, if you, you had to, like, look in trees for big ol' snakes. Because you're not used to looking in trees for stuff. You look at the ground and, and beneath trees and behind trees and around trees. You don't look in the trees. Although that might have required them to program in some more complicated tree models, as well as a complicated snake model and a tree climbing behavior more, um, sort of uh, uh, AI thing. All of which would have been far, far too much effort. <laughs> if you could eat knife <laughs> Oh dear. But yeah, because like, Australia has plenty of other charismatic fauna that aren't in here because they don't get hunted. You know, you, you don't shoot at spiders with a gun, for example. Uh, e says, oh, no, we don't have many guns. Farmers do, but they shoot cows, pigs, etc. Fair enough. I like that quite a big part of the, of the, the story of the map so far has been like... Yeah, there's lots of kind of invasive and escaped domestic animals. Yeah, you know, they they I like that they emphasize the fact that you're doing sort of slightly more ethical hunting. You're going to get on. That's fair. I mean, it is stupid o'clock at night for you, I'm aware. Uh, it is probably as dark for you as it is for me in this game. In fact, what time is it in the game? It is 3.01. I don't know what time it is for you. Uh, but yeah, thanks for stopping by and for, for telling us your tidbits about Australia. Oh, it's only 10.58 for you! Oh, okay, that's nowhere near as late as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like 2am. I, I'm not very good at keeping track of time zones. <laughs> oh, big stretch. Right, it's nearly 2 o'clock here, actually. We have 400 meters to go till the outpost. I'm still fixing myself up. Definitely be there more. Oh, okay, well, I'll look forward to seeing you again in the future. Put my stuff on. What am I stuck on? Oh, a little stubby little tree. Look, like, guys, guys, when you modeled this tree, could you really not have, could you really not have put the middle of this clump of stuff at the top of the trunk? Would that have killed you? Why, <laughs> vey. That's annoying you? What, the, uh, the monkey tree model? I suppose it's nice that they tried for a new and different looking tree. It's just a shame that they couldn't be bothered to do it well. Plant was trippy to look at? Yeah. It's, it, it deforms in a weird way away from you, so you can, like, you walk around it, and it's always... that like, the centre of the clump of tree is always, like, a little bit away from you. It's really weird. I'm sure that's hillside we've been at. Okay, maybe it's not hillside we've been at. 
Never mind, ignore me. Um, but it's not that far beyond render distance. That The edge of the water there is within render distance. If any animals are having a cheeky little nighttime drink, we might actually be able to see them. It's a big mite though. Why have you stopped? Rude. Oh. Oh. oh, still sleepy. Busy and sleeping while playing Hunter the Rifle. Hunter the Rifle? Hunter Call of the Wild games. Name about the combo. One of my thoughts on an albino kangaroo, if I ever find one, I am sure I will have some. It doesn't excite me more than any other albino animal. And actually, maybe because I, I have, like, a particular cultural background and stuff, maybe it actually excites me slightly less than something like an albino deer. Because, um, you know, Europe has various associations with the idea of, like, a white stag and what have you. Uh, but like, if I see one, I'm sure I will be very excited at the time. I'm always excited when I see something rare or high value in the game. What would be my dream animal? As in, like, for an animal for them to add to the game? Or my dream take of an animal out of the ones that are already in the game? Already in the game. I mean, I'd love to get a, a a great one red deer with the flowery antlers. Like, I think that looks really cool and really it's it's that it's beautiful. It's not often there's an animal in the game that is beautiful, but that is a beautiful looking thing. And I realize it's kind of weird to talk like that about something that you're <gasps> a rooster. I've never seen a rooster before. I realize it's weird to talk like that about something that you are ultimately planning to kill. Um, do I have a caller for a rooster? Yes, I do. Where are you at? Where are you at? You're somewhere in those trees. Oh, there's a lot of trees there. Do I actually? I don't know what class they are. Codex, wildlife. Scroll all the way down to J because they should have sorted these better. Oh dang, you're a class six! You're huge! I'd assumed you'd be like a tiny little deer thing. I assumed you'd be another class three. It's not a real animal, you're sure it's fine. Uh. Oh, hello. I had a spot animal prompt really briefly. He's behind there. Where are you? There you are. Oh wow, you look pretty. Okay. Oh, you are in a really awkward spot though. Among all those trees. I don't know where the hitboxes on those trees are. Okay. Ah, Arusa. Fascinating species. All found near the grassy fields by woodlands. A wallow. a wallow, you say? How did that not hit you? Ah! I can hit the the hitbox of the of the rock, possibly. A lot of the objects in this game have massive hitboxes compared to what you can actually see. Oh, that's gutting! Oh, that's gutting! I thought you. I thought that was a dead cert. I thought that was a dead cert. Blast. Down, down, and blast. Fiddlesticks. And other such tame curse words. <laughs> Fine, I'll go back to that one post. I'll sulk about it too. See how you like that, huh? 
Huh? Huh? Huh? I'm not winning anything here. Ah, oh, that was gutting. I thought I had that lined up pretty well. Problems with night hunting. If I cared that much, I'd pay money and skip the night. Not real world money, obviously, just in-game money. Uh, but I don't, so I won't. I know people do in this game, they they refuse to hunt at night. Some of them obviously when they're just hunting lead zones and stuff, they like they just hunt for like one in game hour, which is like fifteen minutes, and then they reset the time. Are you still wondering if they even are albino kangaroos? I don't know. I I never keep track of what the fur types different animals have. Like it just seems really weird to me that given they've put albinos and melanistics and what have you in they haven't then gone ahead and put those in for all the species. Because that would seem like... Like, it's just recolouring an existing texture. You know, and the level of work that your devs are too lazy to do, that's surely got to be at the real, real lower end of it. Uh, and it would make a lot of people pleased to have albinos and stuff of different species. Like, I always got confused, I don't know if they've added them since, but I always got confused when there weren't albino, um, black bears. Okay, that's a, we've got another chance. Uh, in Leighton, yeah, I was, I was confused you could find albino deer and albino moose and what have you, but no albino bears! That just was so weird. Oh, he's like, at the outpost. Okay, here's a track, but... I'm guessing not pointing to the animal we're going towards. Where are you at then, little Java Musa? There are mellow goose. Yes. Unless you mean the magpie geese, in which case, not yes, but also that's nice. Um. Oh, hello. Someone's that's a little foxy and a somebody else feed zone both over here. We'll circle round. I think he might be down that slope. Just past the outpost, which is a really unfortunate place. Oh, I want the map, please. Really unfortunate place to be, because it means he'll have difficulty getting to me. And I'll have difficulty seeing him, but he won't have any difficulty hearing me at all. Wreck face? I fully intend to. Okay, this is a rooster feed zone. Oh, and you eat at stupid o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's not good. That doesn't bode well at all. Uh, also, there's a friggin' sci-fi lab over there. Oh, this is a foxy feeding zone. Okay. Okay, see you later. Enjoy your hunting. I hope you find that white kangaroo you've been looking for. I think I'm going to claim the outpost because I don't want to slip off the slope and then have to come back. Hmm. Um, oh, okay, the sci-fi lab is actually just a bunch of boxes. It looks like they're setting up... This looks like something from the New Zealand map, where they have like the abandoned renaissance fair sort of aesthetic. More of those horrible bug catchers. Let's claim this. Got no dialogue for me? That's okay. I guess all of the, the having lots of dialogue for everything was just at the start. And we haven't heard from. <laughs> I was about to say we haven't heard from that rooster again, but it literally just heard me climbing over that wall. And that's why they need to add like a climb button so that you can do that a bit more quietly. 
without having to break your stealth. Oh, hello. No, 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 he teleported! Ah! I hate it when they do that! Ah, oh, okay. Okay, we've got eyes on again. I don't know if I can hit him through this tree. Apparently the answer was yes. Yes, I can hit him through this tree. Oh! I think I must have spine shot at him. I don't think that was a heart shot, but he dropped instantly. Okay, we got a little bit lucky there, but also a little bit unlucky that he had the teleport, so I suppose it evens out. Right, so let's see what the Java Narusa looks like. It looks like a deer, if I'm honest with you. It looks like lots of other deer in the game. Oh, we didn't even get a spine. It was just a double lung. Apparently, it was enough to bring him down. I guess the magnum, when it when it actually penetrates, does all the damage. Oh no, I need to actually uh, confirm that. There we go. Uh right. I think I am going to go for the full three hours. I've, I've had a little bit of a second wind. So do I? I guess I aim for the the mission target because there's nowhere else that. Makes sense for me to go, right? You know, there's there's river. There's no other outposts nearby. The, the next nearest outpost is on the other side of that area, anyway. I guess we're going there. Six hundred meters. We can do in an hour. If there's lots of animals along the way, we might not actually do the quest. But it shouldn't be too bad. Uh... Else, we can also, we've got a good view of the river here. Again, if there's anyone having a little drink, we should see them. I do not believe there is anyone having a little drink. More's the pity. I'm going to mute for a sec so I can have a quick drink. I think this area is currently fairly empty and that sort of makes sense because we did fire a big old gun not that far away. We can see up that slope on the far side now. There's no one there. But if they were there, we'd see them. <laughs> so helpful. So wonderfully, wonderfully helpful. I think that's also one of the things that I sorely miss about the maps that don't have ducks is that in Leighton, like, even if there's nothing else, if you're near a body of water, there's probably ducks nearby. They're normally too far away for you to shoot effectively, but they're at least there. You know, they're, they're being something that you could sort of try and aim towards if you had nothing else. I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to cross this water. All the other rivers we've met so far have been traversable, and that looks shallow. With all the bits sticking out there. 
Oh, hello, a kangaroo. Hello there. God, you eat in the morning as well, do you? Okay, I would like to get maybe... Around the side? I'm worried about the, the hitboxes of the trees, how they're going to interact with each other. Because this looks like a clear shot, but if that... Oh, hello, there's another one behind you. Oh, okay, you're a 7 and a 6. Now, with the ranger, I might theoretically be able to get off the two shots, but I won't be able to see in the dark. I just remembered that, so I won't bother trying. Don't you move. Don't you move. Okay. You know what? That's a weird angle, but I might go for it. I love the way they just kind of, they, they fall over backwards. When you hit them. Oh my god, there's a level 8 one there. He's aggressive, apparently. Are you coming for me, sir? Is he gonna hop all the way over here and fight me? I think he is. Uh... Hello? Hello? Okay. I hope you enjoyed getting shot, idiot. Oh, how was that a... How was that a rubbish shot? He was right there in front of me. How was that such a bad shot? Now, uh, we got one here anyway. You're on the half health. We might kill it anyway. Although it'll be a bit of a shame, because we will have messed it up. I could try and get a hit on him on the move, but I don't think it's likely to work. So he just dropped. He has just dropped. That's a shame. We got one good hit though. Yeah, you 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 dropped where I where I left you to be honest. Boom. Oh, they're an awkward shape! They're a really awkward shape. I still haven't quite figured out how to deal with that. Oh, that was a kangaroo quest, apparently. How's a kangaroo from within 25 meters? We might have that one off, actually. Is this the wounded kangaroo? Oh, no. Oh, well, he's gone. Okay, here's the blood. Here's the blood. It's fine. Oh, what was that? That's a rooster warning call, apparently. Hello. I don't suppose you want to stay. I was about to say, I don't suppose you want to stand still for me. Not behind a tree, though. Would be kind of ideal. Ah, okay. Yeah, you have another map, are you? Maps are good. I've got to figure out where the hell to put a bullet in you. I think. Just underneath that humpty bit in your outline. I think that's where we want that. Uh, where did you go from here? Okay, maybe that wasn't the best shot in the world. No, okay, this is not the track we want. Uh Okay, that one and then this one. Fab Runies. Okay, that wasn't a kill shot. That's annoying me slightly. Oh look, okay. <laughs> there's the arrow. Oh go, there's the kangaroo. Oh no, that was a kill shot, okay. Might not have been a, a good hit though, given it took him a while to go down. Um, I might have only hit him in like the leg or something. Which would be a shame if so. <clears throat> I may also have hit him a bit low, I guess. I could have gotten under the, the lungs. I'm not really sure. When they're laying down, it should be pretty hard to get under the lungs.
Boop. Right, this might be one of the kangaroo quests. Well, sadly, you're a level 8 that we spoiled, so I think you're only going to be a silver. Yeah, that's a shame. Where did we hit you? What? If you'd asked me where I hit him, I would have said square on in the chest. I have no idea how that... He wasn't even face on! In, 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 according to this. What? Was he just in the process of turning and I didn't notice? I'm trying to get him to stand up. So I can, like, see how he was posed. That is not the the silhouette of kangaroo that I saw at all when I fired that shot. Okay, I'll take your word for it again. Yes, that was within 25 meters though. Okay, after a, a bit of a slow start, we're, we're picking up the pace again with, with finding animals and that's good. We had a few good blobs. We're not very far away from the our target area either, which is good, but we're just far enough away that all of this hunting pressure hasn't blobbed up on top of it, which is also good. Let's have a look around, see if there's any more animals about. I'm hoping the rest of the map it doesn't stay too forested, but it, it, like if I was to expect forested areas, it feels like all of this bit of the map is going to be forest, and only this is going to be like outback, and I'm that's not what I kind of wanted from an Australian. I wanted much more open space territory like where they dropped us at the start. Let's figure out where we hit this rooster. He's probably gone quite a ways away, so we might be following him for a bit. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Still sleepy. somewhere near here. That one, for example. Okay, it was a really rubbish shot. No organ set. Let's figure out where he went. Oh, I see, this is your way in. Where is your way out? Over that way? Perhaps over this way. These are you in a run. So, just follow these tracks for some considerable distance. Now, given that you're bleeding out from a non by from a no organ hit, presumably you're a lot less tanky than the Sandbar are, despite being the same class. You're all the same class, aren't you? Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, you are the same class. I think there's a lot of class sixes as well. There's a bunch of class threes and a bunch of class sixes on this map. What a weird distribution of animals. Oh, 
Oh, you have two tone. Fur. I hope that's not going to be like a rare fur type that I've then messed up by shooting bad. And I couldn't tell because it was night time. He's trying to go around this hill. Well, he's trying to go up this hill, but he's obviously failed at going up the hill. Ow. Ugh. stiff in my seat because I'm sitting down too long. It's not good. It's not good. I really hope this is under 75%, otherwise we are going to be pulling this guy for absolutely ever. Okay, thank goodness for that. I hear some nice wind blowing in the game. Normally when you're playing a game you don't have to specify, but like a lot of the things that I enjoy in this game are things that also happen like normally in the real world. Uh Do you mean the courtesy of not quoting that? Oh no, what did I say? I don't even know what I said that would be quotable. Oh, for goodness sake, Boom Boom. Really? Really? Did your mind go there? Oh, for God's sake. If I had mods, I'd be asking to time you out. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Um... Hello? Uh... Oh, okay. Thanks for only telling me where that was once he decided to flee. Thanks, game. That's real, real nice of you. It's not. Okay, we're on the hall. Okay, this the, the trail isn't isn't so horrendously long. We are going completely the opposite direction to where the most objective is. I think once we pick this one up, we might call the stream there. I know there's at least a few of you around that I'd like to keep streaming for longer, but uh, I am seriously flagging. Again, having having had a second wind half an hour ago, I'm flagging again. So uh, once we pick this one up, unless we have another animal on the go, uh, I'm going to call it a day there. This guy definitely did die, right? We are definitely following the trail of a dead deer. I'm just realising we're going like the exact way that male I just spotted went. I was worried for a sec that we'd somehow managed to bump into him again. No, he definitely did die. We're below 25% now. I guess no one drinks in the early hours of the morning on this map. Because we've seen quite a stretch of river now and there's not been anyone at it. Oh look, there we go. There's a deer body. Hooray. I 
unless there's someone ar literally around this corner waiting to be shot. I'm pleasantly surprised it let me fit through that gap. I wasn't sure if it was going to. Um, okay, let's figure out where we shot you. Also, let's figure out what two tones fur means. Oh, you're like... You're like a... Spurgly like a cat. Where did I hit you? I was on target! I guess I just... Because I clipped your leg. I guess I penetrated... Spent all my penetration power on your leg and not, not enough left to reach your vital organs. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, I'm just going to double check. Four or five. If I then pick you up and harvest you. Is that now at five or five? No, okay. Hello, I hear, I hear footsteps. Yeah, for the put 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 prints. Okay, we we get one more. We get one more today. <laughs> Seeing as you literally walked right up to me, I guess we'll take one more. I think you have the same color scheme, so it can't be that uncommon. No, you're just brown, apparently, even though you look basically the same. Uh, anyway, okay, so that is where we are going to leave it there, as, as dawn breaks over Australia. Uh, but don't you not go anywhere just yet, because I'm going to see who's live and then maybe send you all off on uh, a nice little raid. I do like to do such things as these. Uh, do -do -do, let me fire up my Twitch. Uh, so while I'm looking at this up, uh, I've been dizzy. If you've enjoyed watching, uh, do remember to drop a follow. Uh, big thanks to Strange One for stopping by, being a little first timer in chat, and leaving a follow behind them. Uh, love to see it. I'm going to send you off to Monster. I don't think I've ever raided Monster before. Uh, I have to spell it as usual. Monster. Rawr. There we go. Uh, yeah, Monster is playing uh, Minecraft, uh, which I've been doing a lot of recently as well. Um, you know the drill. Be good beans. Uh, make Monster excited to, to have you along for their ride as well. Uh, the same as I am to have you here. Uh, I'll be back not on Monday because I am helping a friend move. Uh, I'll be back hopefully Tuesday next week, but if I continue to be sort of a little bit mm, flaky, then we'll see. But assume Tuesday, uh, midday British time, uh, for another stream of maybe Jurassic World Evolution? Question mark? I'm not going to commit to that just yet, but that's a maybe. Uh, in the meantime, if you are missing me, you can find me on my YouTube channel down in the description below. Uh, where there's plenty more Hunter Call of the Wild content, mostly on the Hirschfeld and Medved, but I also visit Mahonga, I visit New Zealand, there's one more board of this map, the exciting new map as well. Uh, you can find me on my Twitter, this for Demise, where I send out a notification every time I go live, so you never have to miss one of these in the future. Until the next time, I have been busy, have a wonderful weekend, and enjoy your raids. Ta-ra! Bye everyone! Bye! <laughs>